Today we're going to look at how binary works. Before we think about binary, we need to think about decimal because they work the same. If you look at the decimal place chart here that we have, each column is represented by a number. The, first, the ones column is represented by 10 to the power of 0, which equals 1. The tens column is represented by 10 to the power of 1, which is 10. The hundreds column is equal to 10 to the power of 2, which is equal to 100. 10 to the power of 3 is 1,000. And 10 to the power of 4 is 10,000. We then place the numbers 0 to 9 in each column to represent numbers. A similar process is used for binary. The difference is the base number in binary is 2 and the only numbers used are 0 and 1. The first column is equal to 2 to the power of 0. The second column 2 to the power of 1. 2 to the power of 2. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. And 2 to the power of 4 is 16. We then only have the numbers 0 and 1 to represent our numbers. So we start off with zeros in each column. In each column you then can only have a 1. If we start with the number 1 in the 1's column that represents the number 1. You can see there is a 1 in the 1's column. If we want to represent 2 we turn the ones column to zero and we represent two by placing a one in the two column. If we want to represent three, zero in the ones column then has to become a one. This can continue on. So if we were representing four, we would place a one in the four column. 0 and a 0. Now each number acts like an on and off. So if we wanted 5 we would start back at the ones column and change that. You can see then 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. We would then to represent 6 need to turn the 1 column off and turn the 2's column on. This then represents 6, 1, 1, 0. Of course a 7 then will require us to go back to the 0 column, the 1 column, and place another 1. So 7 is the same as 4 plus 2 plus 1, which is represented by 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. Let's just try a quick example. Let's say we wanted to represent the number 12. If we want to represent the number 12, we would have to, first of all, think what is the highest number that we can go to to represent a 12. Well, 16 is too high, so we'll come back to the 8 column. So it's 12. We need, we need some more numbers to add up. Well, 8 plus 4 is 12, so we'll place a 1 in there. And then you have... 12. 15. Let's start with 15. We'll need 16 is too high, so we'll come to the 8 column. 1 plus 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14, plus 1 is 15. Let's try 21. So we'll start, reset the digits. Start with 16. Well, 16 plus 8 is 24. 16 plus 4 is 20. And then we just need 1. And as you can see, 21 is equal to 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Thank you.